Here's his file. Nathan Seeker, April 115. Advanced symptoms of mutation were found in the child that his parents were hiding. The mutant was immediately transferred to the mine of Eos Kazma. The parents were sterilized during the procedure. Eos Kazma, that's southeast of Ophir. There's an addendum. June 119, the mutant formerly known as Nathan Seeker was transferred upon request AA-1532. The details of it are classified top secret. Hmm. AA is the code that the army usually uses. He was then moved as part of a military operation. 
My father disappeared January 119, before the kid was transferred. So weird. What do you think's behind this story of a top secret file? The hell does the army have to do with all this? There's gotta be more. I don't know, but we'll no longer learn anything else here. We should leave before we get spotted. there for you. Oh. Rumor is you merchant. Ah, yes. We are merchants. I can't imagine. We can't really leave. Filled with mech, but abundance. How can I help you?
Hi, Zach. How are you? Hello, Amelia. Zachariah, would you have time now to negotiate with that intendant from Aurora I spoke with you about? Yeah, sure. Let me just find a disguise, then we can go to your meeting. On the city, I'll have to dodge a shit ton of potholes made by the fuckload of traffic. So I'm gonna need absolute concentration. Noctis is quaint, but I. too businessy for my taste. Well, it is a merchant city. Indeed, but where's the science? Where's the progress? After all, science is the one who made all this possible. I mean, it's also the reason why we're stuck here. When we get there, we should go say hello to Dandolo. He hates it when I don't stop by to peck him on the cheek. I still like this city. It was the first human place where my brothers could roam free. I didn't see many of you there, though. So many memories over there. So many bad ones. The nostalgia of spending hundreds of hours in the unloading area, filling and emptying Marcello's sand sails. Is nostalgia the right word? Because past aside, it feels like home now.
Set up the exchange with that Aurora Quartermaster if he was a complete stranger. Some mutants aspire for freedom everywhere, Aurora included. When I learned that the Quartermaster was looking to dispose of stocks of merchandise, I sent messengers. Messengers? Mutant messengers? And he still took the messages seriously? No. I paid humans, noble-looking ones, too. Plus, we have a few sympathizers over there, some of which are merchants who are always more than helpful, for a price. I thought you didn't want Dandolo in the loop. Indeed, I had to pay them. A lot. Quite a pickle. Exchanging weapons with Aurora when half the people in this rover are from abundance. Goodness, what if... No, we wouldn't get caught. I hope you can all stay discreet. I'm looking at you, Amelia. Because then our meeting would end rather... I know that Aurora tolerates alliance. Rumor has it that they even consider a lie. But abundance, they'd rather go to war. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said it. If there's any corporation you want to be heard talking about, just talk about alliance. Avoid the others. Don't want to start anything. Hey, Zach, count on me if you need some help during the transaction. I've got real life experience after all. Phobos, if Dandolo finds out you're plotting behind his back, He's my ally, Nisha, not my mother. Which means I don't have to tell him what I'm doing at every hour. I think that our negotiator is already there. He must be waiting for us below the shadow path. Oh boy, I can't wait to see you dressed in all merchant duds while doing some form of improvised acting. It's gonna be terrible. All aspects terrible. Zero out of ten, terrible. Why didn't you ask a real merchant, Bobos? You know what merchants are like. They will likely get upset when they realize I'm outsourcing equipment from another source. They revel in their monopoly. They can set whatever prices they want. Well, ain't that the definition of merchant friendship, eh? Do they really help, even though they rip you off? Loyal customers produce loyal sellers. It's mutually beneficial. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Zachariah. Are you Sincerity? Yes. Your message mentioned that you were a merchant and that you may be interested in some merchandise. I have some overstock that I'm willing to sell, but I want to be sure that this merchandise won't end up in enemy hands. Please understand that the safety of our corporation depends on it, and I don't want any of my superiors to learn about this type of transaction. I hear where you're coming from. Don't worry, though. The stocks won't be resold together. I'll spread them out here and there so no one will be able to track the sales back to you. Obviously, with the stocks disseminated, your enemies will have a harder time mounting a strong enough offense to harm you. Do you have a wide enough network to disseminate the merchandise afterwards? It's true that that's a pretty good solution. Very well then. I think that we can do business. <laughs>
Someday, I will kill that madman. Who is this mutant? Why did he kill the merchant? Cain. He refused any type of relationship with humans. And I guess that is his way of showing me that he disagrees with my trying to do business with them. But he failed the negotiation I had been working on for months without even realizing that we need these weapons. Anyway, I guess I need to find another way to stock up. Because we share a similar exterior does not mean we share the same goals, Amelia, or the same thoughts on the best methods to obtain them. Cain would intervene. I would have never arranged our meeting there. Cain, what a guy. Looks like he wouldn't hurt a fly. Instead, he'd kill hundreds. He hates humans. Hates their guts. And he won't stop until he dies. And unfortunately, he has a lot of followers. What did... I don't understand. We had to buy something, right? So then why did that big mutant kill our trading partner? Did the mutant work for abundance too? No, Scott. The mutant doesn't work for abundance. He killed the man from his own hate, and it left us unable to finish the exchange. Uh huh, I see. How sudden. What a twist. Such a waste. All that time spent for that exchange to turn into nothing. If I find out who told Kane about the meeting, I'd show him what makes me different from scum. Take it easy, big guy. With all these intercorporation wars, finding weapons won't be too difficult. I could ask around for you. What? Thank you, Andrew. We were lucky Kane didn't attack you too, Phobos. He obviously doesn't like you. You're his natural competition for chief. I say bring him on. That brute doesn't scare me. Greetings, Zacharias. Zachariah, what can I do for you? We found the Aurora convoy you wanted us to hit. We attacked, left witnesses, even got the uniforms you wanted. Oh, Zachariah, a beautiful thing. Great news. Go get yourself some rest now, because I'm going to need you to take care of another matter for me soon. Remember earlier when I told you Ophir's Vori have their sights set on Noctis? 
want a foothold in my city that'll let them reach the other corporations? Well, the thought's been eating at me. Makes me sick to think of their violence intruding on this city. Luckily, up till now, it was just a distant threat. Scuffles in our fair city and the attitudes of some of our newer inhabitants make me wonder why they haven't already found their way in. What do you want me to do exactly? Investigate. Suss it out. You know the Vori. Their methods, probably even some of their members. If they're here, I'm sure you'll see them. When you do, lure them out, then kick them out. We don't want them here. Oh, one more thing, probably nothing. I'm sure you're aware the ASC now controls Ophir. And, as I'm sure you can imagine, its constant surveillance makes it difficult for our underground matters. All thanks to new asinine restrictions created daily, like a tightening noose. So I need you to smuggle some of our merchandise into the city's underworks, as you call it, to one of our clients. And since I know you know them well, it should be a cakewalk for you. And lucrative. Very lucrative. My property manager will give you the goods. I'll do my best. I see your mutants walk around free here. And why wouldn't they be? They work hard. They're excellent guides and artisans, perfect spies. And for me, it may be a surprise to you to learn that they hope to form a mutant nation someday. And I believe they have that... What's the word on Anton? A bastard like no other. My worst enemy and biggest threat. I've done my damnedest to make sure my existence, like this city, is little more than a vague rumor. Anton Rogue, though, knows damn well that me and this city are real. Just doesn't know where to find us. At least I hope not. His big business competition hopes to push the power of his organization into every corporation. And what better way for him to do it than through us? I do what I can to prevent him from reaching us, but he's not a man who quits till he gets what he wants. Then why even try to stop him? It's just business, right? Eh, true enough. But his methods aren't good for my business, or yours. He's a product of the Abundance Regime, and because of that, he only knows terror and violence as his tools. I prefer, well, more tactical methods. What are your thoughts on the ASC? The cornerstone of Victor's dubious ascent to power. You want to deal with Abundance, you need to go through the ASC. You think Victor's out to control Abundance? Out to? No, 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 he already does. Didn't your Technomancer friend's arrest prove that? A dowser to boot, dowsers, the assembly, whoever, all pawns to be sacrificed, or puppets to be manipulated in his games of blackmail, played with the secrets he's collected on everyone. He's brilliant, merciless, a master manipulator who's turned nearly every citizen into one of his agents, all without raising suspicion. Most in abundance work for ASC ambitions, while those who don't, will soon disappear. What do you know about Aurora? A young corporation. Aggressive, inventive, less backward than abundance. And right now it's going through many changes. During the war, a man named Wisdom became its dowser. And because of him, Technomancers, who had been kept from power for so long, now have quite a bit of influence, religious and political. No one knows what'll come of it, though. Only thing we know is that his alliance with the popular unions, which helped win a lot of battles, including the one over Greenhope, looks like it's become pretty fragile. And I admit I am concerned that this'll all lead to another bloodbath. It's just my concern, and I'm not always right, but I'm also rarely wrong.
Hey there. I was told to come find you. Looking to smuggle merchandise to Ophir? You've come to the right place. Hope Dandolo explained the risks. Not really, but I know Ophir well enough. You probably just didn't want to worry me. You may think you know the city well, pal, but you've never tried to go through it with contraband. You find yourself caught by customs agents or guards, and they ain't gonna slap your wrist. Good luck! I know you're wondering about the origins of the contraband. Listen, Dandolo isn't the kind of person who will willingly lose clients. It doesn't really matter what's in here. There isn't enough to put the people of Ophir in any real danger. I figured that might be the case. I'm getting the impression that I'm acting as a delivery boy. Maybe you could learn something from all this. Nothing's ever as it seems when Dandolo is involved. Welcome, welcome. What's your pleasure? Dandolo asked me to check in with everyone around here. Just wondering if you've been a victim of threats, extortion, or robbery lately. Look, why are you looking to rock the boat, huh? There are men that you don't want to mess with. But if the prince trusts you... Yeah, a couple of scary-looking guys have been making the rounds, threatening a bunch of us. We pay them loads of serum, or they say they'll bankrupt us. Those that said no are slowly losing their businesses. How's that? Mm, their merchandise is getting stolen or ruined. One got beat on his way home. The rest of us are staying scared and paying what they want. Where can I find them? Ah, don't worry. They won't bother you after I'm done. Yeah. They just don't make things worse for us, you know? The ones I've seen hang around the center of the market. Then that's where I'll go. Relax. It's gonna be over soon. the city. Heard you had compassion for those in need. I'm sorry, my name is Carlotta. Zachariah Manser, what can I do for you? It's my husband. He's gone. He just... Uh, I know he's dead. I know it. Whoever did it, please. Find whoever did this to him. Find those men. What men, ma'am? You saw men take your husband? No, I mean, I don't know. Some men came to find him a while ago, threatened him, saying they wanted him to pay him serum in return for their protection. He said no, and their threats got worse. Then one morning, when I wasn't there, something happened at the shop. Everything was overturned, broken, and Fabio was gone. I know they did it! All right, all right. It sounds like the Vori, and if it is... Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna find your husband alive, either. I'm sorry, but do you know where I could find them? Last time I saw them, they were around the community soup. Please, please make them pay for what they did. I'll do my best to find them, ma'am. You've got my word. Poor girl. Fuck. Fuck! First those bastard Bori poisoned Ophir, and now they show up here, pulling the same shit?! This will not stand, Zack. We're throwing them all out! You're a robber, right? Don't like that word. Don't cons- When you say people who left stuff in- Sure. I even f I see.
My name's Zachariah Manser. The Merchant Prince sent me to give you a message. You're not wanted here, so get the hell out. End of message. Message received. Now return this message. Eat my ass, you prick. My boss said we should stay, so we're staying. End of message. There's the reason I'm not surprised you're still just a grunt among the Vori. Let me help you out a bit. You know what happens now that you've been spotted here. One, you're smart and you leave. Or two, the Merchant Prince is gonna pin your ass down naked in the desert for a long, long date with the sun. Then watch you die a slow, painful death. You're not right in the head, man, sir. Yeah, we'll leave, but I promise Anton's gonna make you pay for this. No, oh, look at that, I do. Your cover's blown. Get out. Sure. Right after you. I want to make sure you understand a few things. First, I'm a Technomancer. Second, you know someone that can get shocked so bad that they permanently forget their own name, right? Hmm, I suggest you think about those two things while you start packing. You'd torture us over this. Really? Fine. We'll get out of your damn city. But I'd watch out after we tell Anton about this. Never would have thought they'd disguise themselves so well. Maybe they're getting smarter, or someone a lot smarter above them is calling the shots. Anton must have put his top men here. I knew that tall guy at the city entrance looked familiar. a familiar fucking face, the notorious wanted mansion from Ophir. You have any idea how much serum your head's worth? If the boss hadn't told us to stay away from that contract, I'd have it in a bag right now. How'd you find Noctis? Not like it's on a map. Just like everyone else here, a smuggler got us in, and why wouldn't we? Ain't everyone welcome in Noctis? Total opposite of Ophir. We just blended in with the crowd escaping that shithole city, and the rest is the present. And damn if I don't love this place. So much opportunity. A breath of fresh air unlike the stale bullshit of Ophir. A lot of serum to be made here. Not as much corruption, for sure, but we're working on that. Dandolo sent me. And you want me to give a fuck? You and the Vori have been extorting and murdering in Noctis since you got here. We're tired of it. We're asking you to leave. Nicely. You're not wanted here. Oh, oh, okay. And I'm supposed to say, thank you for asking so polite. We'll be leaving now? Boss said you were smart, but I'm starting to think otherwise. So here's what we'll do. We stay, you act like you don't know we're here. And maybe down the line, I'll throw some work your way. Good? Good. All right, go on. Get out of here. Maybe I wasn't clear enough. You're in real trouble here. I know you fear Anton, but... Dandolo can be even worse than your boss when he wants to be. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's the only guy dangerous enough for Anton to even pay attention to. Fine. We'll move out. But this... This ain't even close to being over. Anton Rogan could type ever back down from a fight. He might regroup, but when he does, shit hits the fan. I better go talk to Anton. Otherwise, he won't stop sending men until we cave, and he wins.
pleasure as always, Zack Rogue Mancer. I hope my sarcasm wasn't too subtle for you to catch. Looks like your dreams came true. Your men finally found a way into Noctis. And from what I heard, you went in with a little heavy hand yourself with my men, which isn't really great for our relationship. But it's fine. Live by brutality, die by brutality. Maybe I could be understanding of your methods if you could be a little more tolerant of my needs. How's that? I just... I'd really love to send some men back to Noctis. Tell them to stay out of the way. Keep discreet. I don't want control in the city. I just want access to the other corporations. Nothing that would step on your friend's toes. Just some healthy competition. What do you say? Not that I expect you to say yes without a fair price. For your patience and understanding. If I could believe you, Anton, then maybe. But if I give you a bit, then before long, you'll want it all. Brilliant! Brilliant, Mancer! You win! Throw me and my men out! That'll clean up the damn city! There are bigger fish for you to worry about. Victor's pretty entrenched in the notorious secret city. Who knows if my men could have helped you out at some point. Don't think I'll need them. You think you're telling me something new? Victor's men aren't exactly discreet. Good for you for learning the ropes. Keeping your ear to the ground. About time. Yeah. Guess I'm growing up. A few things I'd still like to find out, though. Like what and how your men managed to learn what they know about the city. I'm not one to donate information, but it's a funny story, so I'll make an exception. You see, the Prince Merchant is a smart man, but not a wise one. He forgot one important thing. The city thrives on the backs of those who lack loyalties. And mercenaries lack, among many things, loyalty to anything but the serum. Serum that is doled out quite generously by the Colonel in exchange for their undivided attention to his needs. And soon, the Zealots taking refuge in Noctis conferred their loyalties to Victor based on the concocted dreams of a free pass into heaven for their services. <laughs> a parade of idiocy from start to finish, one and all trading loyalties for their magic beans of choice. If you're looking to learn what the spies found out for the Colonel, I'm sorry to say I haven't a clue. But I do know I'd pay a tidy price to see the look on Dandolo's face right about now. Guess we all have our little amusements. Thanks for the info. What do you think of our army? You're a hard one to peg, rogue. Why would you care what I think? But sure, why not? Just a little friendly conversation. Abundance and its generals are like a once vibrant tree that has long since withered away. Its leaves dried up, but still clinging to the branches of memories stretching from the trunk of its faded but glorious past. Strangled by its own ancient and outmoded bureaucracy, all the while Aurora's strength blossoms from the aggressive dynamics of its youth. But I'm sure it will all work itself out in time. If not on the battlefield, then undoubtedly in offices like these. And of our dear Colonel Victor. What do you know about Noctis? Noctis Labyrinthus. Labyrinth, there is undeniable, enviable power. I gotta go. Then go. all the way to Noctis and still can't get away from Victor. How the hell did he manage to make it here? But I'd better figure out what the hell's going on and find his spies before it's the end of us. Are you planning to tell that dick he can kiss his colonial dreams goodbye? Holy shit, if I ever deal with him again, it'd be too soon. He'd just die, even the fucking air and Ophir'd be cleaner for it. Yeah! <laughs> 
Hey there, you the painter? Yeah, that's me. Got something for me? Pigment delivery. You got everything I need, that's all I care about. Kinda surprised though. Thought we'd seen the last of the deliveries from our little merchant friends, given what happened. Don't know how the hell you did it. What are you talking about? Oh uh, hell, you don't know. Victor had a caravan stopped and every poor bastard in it tortured. Truth is, they ain't just rumors. Our informants never let us down before. You better be careful, man, sir. Really careful. Oh, one last thing. Keep the deliveries coming. And I know you want to know if I'm a painter and those are really just pigments. Better you don't dig too deep, though. Safer for everyone. If what she says is true, then there's a good chance that the ASC infiltrated Noctis. I'll have to find out who they are and where they're hiding so we can feel safer. Zack, whatever happens, you need to promise me Noctis won't fall into the hands of those scumbags. We're gonna do what we can, and I'm sure Dandolo's not the type to ever lose a fight either, so... Then we'll all fight together. I just hate knowing the ASC somehow wormed their way in here. It's just a dirty feeling, like knowing your home infested with cockroaches or rats. <laughs>
Alicia. Hi, Zach. 